Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I want to make sure that everybody understands how to do these problems perfectly. So as you can see, I've got the worksheet here. This is the same one that I signed. Your quiz is going to be just like this as well. So if you can do this worksheet, you should be in good shape for the quiz. All I did here was I just changed the numbers in the questions, that's it. So let's go through how to do this, starting with the example. So in this example, it says, find the length of arc AB, round to the nearest hundredth. Well, if they told you to find the measure of arc AB, you would say since the central angle is 135 degrees, it would be 135. But when they ask about length, they're asking what the actual distance is if you were like a little tiny person walking along this arc like so. So what you're gonna do to solve this is you're gonna First, figure out what percent of the circle this arc is. So the way you do that is you take the central angle and you divide it by 360. So this right here, this tells you what percent of the arc that is. Next, you have to multiply that by what the actual circumference of the circle is. So we're going to multiply this by the circumference of the circle. Now, the formula for circumference of a circle, we have pi d, but we also have 2 pi r. So we're going to multiply what this percent is right here times the entire circumference, and that's going to tell us what the arc is. So for example, let's just pretend that this bit right here was 25% of the circle and the circumference was 100 meters. Well, if this is 25% and the whole thing's 100 meters, that would make this 25 meters. Those aren't the real numbers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this formula, two pi, if you have a pi button, use that. If you don't, use 3.14 times the radius. And in this case, the radius is eight inches. We fill in central angle over 360 times two pi radius. And again, the radius is eight inches. Multiply all that in your calculator and you get 18.85 rounded to the nearest hundred. Okay, so let's take a look at this first question. You're looking for the arc length of arc DE if the radius is five meters. So here's our picture. The central angle for Arc DE is 120 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write 120 over 360, and that tells us what percent of the circle this arc is. We're gonna multiply it by the circumference, which is two pi r, so we have two times pi times the radius, which we're told is five meters. Let's plug this in our calculator. So I have a pi button in my calculator, and I use that. If you type in 3.14 for pi, your answer might be a little bit different. So in my calculator, I got this. What I did was I typed in 120, division sign, 360, multiplication sign, two, multiplication sign, pi sign, multiplication sign, five, and I got that. If you want to, you could also do 5 times pi times 2 times 120, then hit division by 360. It doesn't matter the order. Either way, it says round to the nearest hundred. So remember, the hundredth place is the second digit after the decimal point. So look to the right of that. If this is 5 or more, this goes up by 1. Since it's not, it stays the same. So this is going to be about 10.4 seven and the units were meters. Let's look at this one now, arc DEA. Here's D, here's E, here's A. So this is 120 degrees, and because this box is right here, we know this is 90 degrees. So DEA is gonna be 120 plus 90. So we've got 210 over 360 times two pi radius. Now see here, they say the diameter is 10 inches. Well remember, diameter is twice the radius. So divide this by two, you find out the radius is five inches. So we do this and we get that, rounded to the nearest hundredth, look to the right, since that's five or more, this is gonna be 18.33, and the units were inches. By the way, looking at these two answers, we have a circle with a radius of five here and five here. Here we have a smaller portion of the circle, here we have a larger portion of the circle, and notice that this answer is larger. Larger portion of the same circle, larger answer smaller portion of the same circle, smaller answer. Right here, arc BC, if BE is 27 feet. BC is 45 degrees. Now again, we're given a diameter. BE is 27 feet, there's B, there's E, that's a diameter. Half of 27 is 13.5. We get this using pi, rounding to the nearest hundredth. Since that's not five or more, we get that. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Here we're asked about arc MR. Arc MR is right here. Now, we don't have measurements here, but we do have this measurement. Take a look at MT. See how that's a diameter? If that's a diameter, that makes MRT a semicircle. And a semicircle, you should remember, is 180 degrees. Now, they're asking about MR. MR is the semicircle minus this part right here. So in other words, MR is 180 minus 50. So arc MR is 180 minus 50. In other words, it's 130. Let's set up the problem. 
Now we're given PR and PR is a radius, so I can use that directly. Central angle arc measurement over 360, that's the percent of the circle, times the circumference 2 pi r. Using pi we get that, rounded to the nearest hundredth, 36.30 feet. Remember we look at the hundredth and then look to the right. If it's five or more it goes up, since it's not, it stays the same. The next problem we have arc MST. MST, just like in the previous problem, when it goes from end to end of a diameter, we know this is a semicircle. So MST is gonna be 180. So we're given MP and MP is a radius, so we can plug that in directly. We get this when we plug into the calculator. Rounding, we underline the hundredth place, look to the right, since that's five or more, we add one to this. And don't forget your units. Okay, last problem, arc MRS. So this is M, there's R, there's S. So we're going to do the arc that goes around in this direction. In other words, it's the entire circle minus this little bit right here. Well, we know a whole entire circle is 360 degrees. The question is, what is this bit that we're subtracting? Well, remember, this is a diameter. That makes this 180 degrees. So if this is 50, that means this is 180 minus 50. So in other words, this part is 130. So again, MRS is going to be the whole circle minus this 130. So MRS is 230 degrees. Now PS is a radius, so we can use that directly. We get this, rounding to the nearest hundredth, look to the right, five or more. So there's a rounded answer. If you can do all these, you should be totally set for the test. Just expect the same problems with different numbers.